Kroskiu is very pleased to stand with the rest of the world to commemorate World Accreditation Day. Indeed, we endorse and proudly echo the theme Accreditation Supporting the Implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals or SDGs. Sustainability is critical to ensuring that the next generation are benefiting from the solid foundations that we set. We at CrossQ attest that accreditation is one important tool in building that foundation by providing an evidence-based approach to validate the competence of people, machinery, and the systems. Over the years and continuing, despite the restrictions of the COVID-19 pandemic, the CARICOM region has been building a culture of quality buttressed by the strength of our accreditation network. The Caribbean Corporation for Accreditation, the CCA, a cooperative framework involving accreditation bodies and quality professionals, deliver well-needed accreditation services to our region at competitive prices and has been able to support and or direct many conformity assessment bodies called CAVs towards accreditation. This process has been ably assisted by national accreditation focal points or NAFPs who are trained accreditation professionals located within the national standards bodies. Thus far, the CCA has been responsible for over 56 accredited or otherwise internationally recognized conformity assessment bodies across the CARICOM region. These conformity assessment bodies are the agencies which provide testing, inspection, and certification of goods and services manufactured or developed in our respective countries. The new normal of the pandemic has tested our resolve to continue building our regional accreditation framework, increase the number of accredited conformity assessment bodies, and improve our sustainability index. However, we must recognize that the 17 tenets of the Sustainable Development Goals are not achievable without appropriate and trustworthy systems of verification and validation. Over the next few months, CrossQ will continue working with the United Nations Forum on Sustainability Standards to dimension and build out a program that will ultimately evolve the region's voluntary sustainability standard framework into a mature system. This VSS framework will include the complete quality ecosystem, including standards, metrology, conformity assessment, and accreditation alongside quality promotions to develop greater awareness. It is intended that through this accreditation process, there will be increased trade, increased employment, and hence reduced poverty, inequality, and hunger, improved well-being, education, sanitation, economic growth, affordable and clean energy, industry, innovation, and infrastructure, as well as gender equality, among other things. Already, with the support of the 11th European Development Fund Technical Barriers to Trade program, we are advancing five conformity assessment bodies and two calibration laboratories towards this process of accreditation that will certainly help in the region's progress towards goal nine for building resilient industry and infrastructure while encouraging innovation. Securing these accreditations will add another layer of safety and confidence within our trading sectors, which will further contribute to Goal 12 for ensuring sustainable consumption and production patterns when industry and producers have access to readily available measurement testing 
inspection and certification services. CrossQ consequently continues to encourage, promote and support our stakeholders to utilize the accreditation framework that is being built on the regional quality infrastructure framework as well as on the internationally tested and proven best practices. By doing so, the region is evolving to a more resilient and sustainable pathway in keeping with the 17 Sustainable Development Goals. Have a happy, productive and fulfilling World Accreditation Day. Thank you. Mm -hmm.